you have not started. Every day you wake up, you ask yourself, does the devil know I'm a child of God? If the devil does not know your name, you have not started. Remember, in Acts of Apostles 19, verse 15, he says, quote, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, Paul and Paul I know, but who are you? Jesus he knew, Paul he knew, who are you? Until you enter into that category that the devil will see you and know that you are a son of God and you bear the work of Christ is not started. And I want to send it as a message to all workers of iniquity that they should stay there every member of Pentecost ministry worldwide because we bear the work of Christ. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's a alpha and omega. He's a miracle walking God. You see, in the beginning was the world. The world was with God. The world was God. And the world was made manifest. It became flesh. He became, he was, and he is the light of men. And of course, darkness cannot and will never compromise it. That means he, will, he was, he is, he is to come. If you don't believe in Jesus, you are finished. I'm telling you the truth. I repeat, you see that you are in Christ or you are in crisis. And when you are in crisis, you need Christ to come out of crisis. That's the portion of the of Jesus. I believe we will be having a lot of challenges. So many people have challenges. Challenges are part of life. Remember, Jesus himself told us, in this world, you're going to face tribulation. But guess what? Be cheerful, because he has overtaken the world, overcome and overtaken the world. So you don't have any problem. Whatever, have tenacious faith, believe in Jesus, and you are finished. In terms of, you, you become finished in terms of finished product. Everything about you will be well packaged for you, in Jesus' name. I want to pray specifically for some people. Every woman, by believing in God for the child of the for the foot of the womb, by the end of this prayer, you will conceive in the name of Jesus. Write it down. Amen. Genesis 28, verse 3 says, May God multiply you, bless you, and make you fruitful, that you may be an assembly of people. If you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, I want you to raise your hand and believe that immediately after this prayer, you're going to have it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to say, My Father, my God, my Father, my God. I command immediate fruitfulness into myself. I will pray for you. In the name of Jesus, whoever that is under the influence of this, my voice, or somebody hold you can hold plea for somebody. You can hold in, in some, you, can, you, can, you can hold plea for somebody like your sister, your friend, or anybody. I release the, the virtue of Jesus Christ into her, into everybody here in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever that believes God for the foot of the womb. Receive it by the name of Jesus. Perfect child or children, as the case may be. If you want three, if you want twins, triplets, claim it by the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, I release it to you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, receive it in the name of Jesus. Enough of barrenness, enough of barrenness, enough of barrenness. I remove, I destroy, I remove, I destroy by the reason of anointing. Everything that is making you barren in your womb, the mighty name of Jesus. Open heaven, open womb now in the name of Jesus. Write it down, it's done. The husbands can hold peace for their wives, their wives can hold peace for other people. It's done, so shall it be. The second group of people I want to pray for. Women believing, right women believing God for husbands and wives, or, and uh, men believing God for spouse. According to Genesis 2, Genesis 2, verse 18, it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make him a helpmate. It's not that it's not good for a man to go to farm, it's not good for a man to be alone. And neither is it good for a woman to be alone. Wherever that believing God for a husband, for a wife, legitimately, receive the name of Jesus. Under the influence of this ministration, whoever that is under my uh, voice, and you are looking for a husband, you are looking for a wife, 
and you are, you are legitimately looking not to take somebody's wife or take somebody's husband, you see that in the of Jesus. Right now, in the of Jesus. Right now, in the of Jesus. Receive. Whoever that is, you are receiving it will find you, and you find the person, and both of you get married in the mighty name of Jesus. And of course, the family will grow from there. Good family, responsible in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Now, we go to the new one. Economic empowerment. You see, these things work. Let's look at Romans 8, verse 3. Yet, in all these things, we are more than conquered through him who loved us. Deuteronomy 15, verse 6. He say, say, remember, the Bible says, every word of God that is spoken must come to pass. None of his word will, 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 will not accomplish. He must accomplish the purpose for which he was said. Quote, for the Lord your God shall bless you as he has promised you. And you will lend to nations, but will not borrow. You will rule over many nations. This is the most important thing, especially to men, after Jesus. Because if you don't have economic empowerment, the Bible describes the person as an infidel. I pray in the name of Jesus. But before then, you have to make sure that you pay your tight. So that the cause of God will come upon you. No matter how small your tight is, even if it's one naira, make sure you keep to it. Such that you will be able to withstand it. The, because devil will say, you, you see, you've not paid your tight, you've not this. Whatever that is holding you not to do that, so that you prevent you from having a relationship with God, please, I beg of you, this, just obey the word of God and you have you have stamina, you have power, you have right to demand for something. I pray for you. Even if you have not been doing it, start doing it now immediately and tell me it works. In the name of, let's, let's read so that you understand what I'm saying. You say, Malachi 10, bring here all the tithes into my storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and prove me, prove me now, let's be it, so that if I will not open the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing that shall not be that, that such that there should not be room enough to, to receive it. You see, paraphrasing, we this realm we work in a system, a system where devil keep on accusing us of one thing or the other. But if you do and hacking this gent into the word of God, you will look at the devil eye for to eye and say, Go to hell, and he will obey you. Devil does not have power. He has only the power you give to him. And that's part of it. If you stand by the decrees, by the, by the statement of God, and demand something, you tell God, you've done this, you've done this, according to your word, you will feel it. I pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is holding you stagnant, whatever that is making you not to enter your rest, whatever that is holding you sway, whatever crisis in your family, Whatever the devil is holding against you, I wipe out the name of Jesus. I decree and declare total rest for you. The Bible records that it is vain for you to wake up very early in the morning and walk the whole night and sleep very late because of pursuit of money. That's not your portion. Because he has provided rest for his children. That's your portion in the name of Jesus. Seamless wealth. Seamless opportunities, brilliant ideas who flow to you by the mighty of Jesus. Anybody holding you sway, anybody, any idol, any power, I, I destroy by reason of the mighty of Jesus. I decree and declare wholesome, immeasurable, infantable wealth into you, mighty of Jesus. Remember, the Bible read, the Bible, the Bible read says, we lend to nations who will not go. We lend to nations who will not go. For you to lend to nations, that means you have enough, more than enough. And it's possible. You can imagine you lending to America or lending to Nigeria or lending to any, any government. He said, the silver is his, the gold is his, the diamond is his, 
They don't, they don't spend their more than all this in, in heaven. No, they don't. So, it's meant for people like you and I, believers. It's not meant for believers. He said, I repeat, eyes have not seen, neither has it entered the heart of men, what lies in store for those who have called by him. I challenge any devil that will make you not make money, make, make, make you not want to be able to fulfill your destiny, because it is written. He has given wealth to his beloved and rest to his beloved. That is a portion of my Lord Jesus. I pray for you today in the name of both of under the auction in my life. Total turn around. Positive turn around. Imaginable turn around. Whatever good you dare you have to do, no, it must no. by the might of Jesus. Provided is legitimate. We don't can we don't go for illegal businesses. Right now, receive the wealth. For every son of God, for every child of God, there's a portion allocated to you in, 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 by the Holy Spirit in during the creation. You will meet and surpass your expectation in the name of Jesus. You are not born a mediocre. You are not born to be, to be insufficient. God said in his word that ask me, I will do it so that your joy will be full. Whatever you need now in the name of Jesus, within the uh, confinement, within the laws and capacity of Lord Jesus Christ, I will make your joy complete. Receive the mighty of Jesus. Stretch your hand and receive. Stretch your hand and receive. Stretch your hand and receive the mighty of Jesus. I speak as a servant of God. Total positive turn around. Or if you are in school, I, 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 you be among the best in school. In any business, anything you do, receive ability, grace of God to function at higher capacity in mighty of Jesus. You see, there are powers and there are powers. It's only a fool that says there's no power. It's only a fool that says there's no God. But listen to this. When power needs power, less power will power. Less power will power. The power behind Jesus Christ in heaven, above the, uh, on earth, and below the earth will be given to him. He's, only, he's not just powerful. He is the custodian of power himself. So I want you to raise your hand now as I pronounce this. In the name of Jesus, I release total power. Before then, listen to this, listen to this. The Bible record that our Lord Jesus Christ was imbued with power and Holy Spirit. Power and Holy Spirit. Another section of the Bible tells us that as many as those who confess Jesus as their Lord and Christ and Savior will be given power, will be given power to be called children of God. That means you, if you don't have power, you can't even be called children of God. You can't, you can't be child called, the, the children will be called children of God, except they have power. So right now, we have to request for power. He said, those, power is wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing, principal thing. But in getting wisdom, get understanding and knowledge. And those who lack wisdom should seek for him who gives in abundance. So we're going to ask for power, which is wisdom, right now into our lives. Wisdom, I repeat, is the principal thing. In getting wisdom, get understanding and knowledge. All of it is a package. I release in the name of Jesus. Total wisdom. Wisdom to make exploits in our land of living. Total wisdom to, to, to overcome, destroy your enemies who refuse to repent in the mighty of Jesus. I release power, power over the kingdom of darkness in the mighty of Jesus. You shall decree a thing to come to pass in the mighty of Jesus. No weapon whatsoever formed against you will prosper. And any tongue that rises against you judgment, you condemn good time. Because this is your heritage in, King, in, in Jesus Christ. I release unfathomable wealth, wisdom, understanding, grace to accomplish the impossible. Grace to do the impossible. The possible is what you do every day. Right now, receive grace to do the impossible, mighty Lord Jesus. You shall decree a thing positively if you come to pass. It is written in the book of Job that whatever you decree on earth is a